Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. Yes. Let's talk about it. Yeah. Um, Euphoria. Let's, nah, before that, let's agree real quick before we even get to all this shit, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, first person shooter like that, both jabs, right? For sure. Because they're not solo songs. Right, you mean, what, you mean jabs as in they're less than a no, 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 track. A, as in not a, a a diss track directed to someone. I um, can agree on that. I can agree. Like that was. I'm not gonna say first person shooter was because when I first heard it, I never thought this is predicated or associated or yeah. aimed at Kendrick. So I mean, me but, personally, I can't. I can't. Uh, you personally, that's yeah, fair, I, that's, I can't say that's, that's a jab. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's you personally. I can't say that's like a jab. your perspective. But, was, but when Drake and Cole recorded it, sure. it was a jab. Yeah, yeah, like, okay. yeah but I feel, but I feel what you're saying. Yeah. Yes, yeah, for yes. sure. Oh, all right. yeah. so I think it's it. even yeah. more confirmation now because Kendrick alluded. I know we're fast forwarding, mm-hmm. but Kendrick alluded like, "Yo, first person shooter." He's ta- he talked about it on Euphoria. So. Right, right. I, I just wanted to get that out the way really okay. quickly because so we could have uh, like pre- prelim- preliminary rounds, right? Mm-hmm. Push ups. No, actually, we we passed the prelims. I'm sorry. I would call like that the prelim. Yeah, and first person shooter the prelim. Yes, the first official records of the di- of the beef was was push, is push ups. Push up. And, and now euphoria, euphoria right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm cool. I wanted to clear that up real quick. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's do it. I know oh, that's yeah. a lot of the discourse like on it, you know. <laughs> so I feel like we talked about yeah. Drake enough. Um, this actually made me go back and listen to the, the Taylor May freestyle with a different set of ears, right. which we'll get to. But I do want to talk about this whole pusher shit because I'm just surprised he responded. Like before we break down the bars and all this other shit, I'm thoroughly impressed that he dropped in a timely manner. You don't believe that. No, I do believe that. <laughs> no, because no, because Nobody, I feel like we genuinely thought that he was going to take a long time to respond. We said that like I mean, on the pod. I definitely, I definitely, thought, I definitely thought he was going to take mad long. I th- yeah. I, I, these are one of those rare occurrences where I felt like, all right, dog, you know, you can't keep going to hide after this one. Like, mm-hmm. I like that. He literally he dedicated his whole verse to that nigga. I will say this, though. If, like, there were rumors swirling around that, you know, he was working on an album, mm-hmm. I would have been very disappointed. For music, because I don't, ha- I have no horse in the race. Mm-hmm. But I would have been really disappointed if this was all rollout and promo yeah. for a new Kendrick album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, we were like, oh, oh god, nigga, like <laughs> 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 roll our eyes, nigga, very inauthentic, <laughs> very nigga. inauthentic. Um, yeah. I-, I-, I could play a little bit of it. So gotcha. my my personal takeaways, and yeah. then I would love to hear y'all personal takeaways. It's a six minute track. We are not gonna break a six minute track down by <laughs> fucking minute by minute. Yeah. But I do want to kind of highlight some of the things that stuck out to me. I want to hear what y'all thought. Yeah. Um, and the first thing is I feel like he took a long time to really get to it. The song doesn't start for me until about three minutes in. What about on that little um beginner part? I know it's a it's a so, it's softer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What? He Before- says he's like a washed up actor and he's spiraling and he's a pathetic manipulator in the thir- first 30 seconds though. So, all right. When I, what, <laughs> but you're saying that's not really like, meh, like it's whatever. So before he gets to like 3.30, I'll say around the three minute mark, he said a lot of regurgitated lines and oh, just, just his like own kind way, of mindless right? Things. So it's things that I've heard. It's things that I've seen on the timeline. It's things that other people who have already dissed Drake have said. Um, that's a problem for you? It's not a problem. Okay, because to me... I'm not going to say it's a problem, okay, okay, but okay. what I will say is as somebody who has been following people who have dissed Drake, yeah. I didn't, he didn't like open Pandora's box for me. He didn't say anything too shocking where I'm like, mm-hmm. oh my God, this yeah. is fucking crazy. Like yeah. The shock for me was, oh wait, this nigga actually dropped. And then after the three minute mark is when I feel like he really kind of got in his bag. Like the first three minutes, Everything he said, or a lot of what he said, let me not say everything, a lot of what he said, I've heard Joe Budden say when he was dissing Drake. I've heard Pusha T say when he was dissing Drake. Those are like the main two. And then what I really, really believe hurt him in this particular song is that he took so much time to actually respond because a lot of the things that he used, I felt like it was using either like an AI type of fake release or the timeline, Twitter, social media kind of conjured up some of the points that he made that I think it would have hit a little bit different had he not waited as long as he mm-hmm. did. But again, for me, I was happy that he responded. Type shit. Mm-hmm. I do see what you're saying. I'm not mad at it. But I do think like him, I don't know, just the, just <clears throat> the fact that it came directly, like so directly from Kendrick. It does hit kind of different though. Like him even just saying, I fucking hate the way you walk. Like hearing <laughs> oh, him say it. that, yeah. I, I, even if it's like basic, like I hate oh. the way you walk, I hate the way you talk. Hearing Kendrick say that, I don't know. It kind of hit for me though. Oh, oh. Like, yeah, I, no, I, I was like, oh, I was like, oh okay. shit. I just, and and no? I'm going to tell you why it hit for me too. No, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of with you. 
Again, for the people that was in the YouTube comments a few weeks ago when they berated the fact that I said that, yo, this is probably one of those times Drake should have put out two disc records. Um, not because push-ups didn't warrant a response. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think it went over some people's heads. Just the fact that, see, because when Kendrick comes back, it's, it's all going to be directed okay. at you. And now when we come to round one, we have push-ups where you get at him, but you get at mad others. Mm -hmm. And this sick motherfucker from Compton is solely getting at you. So, For six minutes. Uh, like, maybe maybe I should have asked you this. When yeah. you set up these these rounds and these brackets, yeah. and that's kind of helpful mentally for me, right. the imagery of you kind of doing that. Mm -hmm. So thank you. Mm -hmm. um, where do you put TaylorMade Freestyle? I would put TaylorMade Freestyle. See, it's tough for me, right? Because it released on Instagram, right? And okay. let's go to the people who are not prominent on social media. Mm -hmm. I, I swear, I'm not, I'm not trying to cape for Kendrick, Drake, no, to nobody today. Just over some real shit. Quick huh? question for you. Yes, yes. Since the cease and desist um, actually came to pass. I think Drake took it down, right? Yeah, he yeah, did. He's taking it down. But soon. it's still, it's, it's still, it's still counts. on YouTube. Okay. Okay, but it's still on YouTube. It's still on YouTube. Okay. I listen to on it today. his YouTube? Or? No, or just like in, people it's just in general. general. It's, in, it's out there for the world okay. to have. Okay, right? okay. Like, that's fair. Okay. Yeah. I, see, push ups is hard for me to. See, I came in last week and said how much I really liked it in comparison to push ups. Taylor made. Uh, Taylor made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As in comparison to push ups, mm -hmm. I really liked it because of where he went. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, you know Kendrick really fuck with Pac. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. you, you're talking to the West Coast. Now you're hitting that things close to home. Mm -hmm. On the other side of that, I'm we some music people. We work in music for the most part. And we know what's going on. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many people might have heard Taylor Made. Mm -hmm. I really don't. What makes you think that? Be because so he, that he dropped it? it on social media. It's, it's not official. Not that I care. But it's just not official on his YouTube account. It's not official. Any, you know, you know, you see what I'm getting. Yeah. Like you don't count it as an official round. Yeah, but I like it a lot, though. Really? Yeah, it's it's hard for me too because it didn't. Interesting. But, what, I think you, it. I think it plays a yeah. part because if he doesn't drop that, mm -hmm. do you think Kendrick still responds in the way that he did in for the sure. time that he did? No, I, no, 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 because he wouldn't have because he references Tupac mm -hmm. in that whole debacle in Euphoria. Mm -hmm. So he clearly is aiming this energy towards like Taylor May freestyle mm -hmm. and all everything that has transpired, like everything. Yeah, it's sure. a culmination of everything. Yeah. I think it adds to it. But mm -hmm. I think he still would have got at him. But you're right. There are definitely new points that Kendrick got yeah, at. Yeah, he yeah, said, yeah. he said, uh, he, uh, Kendrick referenced that Tupac, that Drake had Tupac rolling in his grave. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, yeah. And then there was even a lot of callback to uh, some of Kendrick's earlier uh, interviews where he's talking about how, um, you know, uh, Tupac made a distinction between and women. Bit, yeah, women. And how his mom, uh, <laughs> how, how Tupac said, Tupac's mom told him um, that, you know, there's, there's a clear difference between the bees and, and regular women. The bees just try What's to catch you up. <laughs> you heard the way he said it? You heard the way he said it? Sometimes you got to keep it PG. Nah, yeah. nah, but, like not it. on the Need yeah. to Know podcast. <laughs> like, wait, hold on with the bees. <laughs> you know, no but, okay. but, but basically that yeah. um, he was alluding to the fact, Kendrick was alluding to the fact that Drake I'm out here trying to edify people and you're really out, out here not really like you're probably you're the problem of what is going on in the world. You're not really doing anything for the culture. Oh, we're going to get to that. Yeah, yeah. That's what he was saying. So oh, we how, how that, about we, we play some yeah, of it yeah, and sure. then we could kind of skip around if y'all want to skip around mm -hmm. just to kind of keep it in context.